Number one is Jesus, the Mount of Kieran Fallon for Drubasav Ratman. Dark Matter will be partnered by Ted Durkin for Stephen Burridge. Always Certain also represents Singapore. This one handled though by Michael Friedman and Vlad Jurek, the man on his side. Uh, drawn in four, number four is Larey for James Doyle and five is Gingerbread Man. Six, Durbas for Richard Hills. Coming back to some sort of form now. Trained by Ala Rashid Arai. Seven, Viscount Nelson. Bist to create history and become the only horse to win the Fahidi Ford and the Zabil Mile. Eight is Fanonota for Mirko De Miro. And ten, Duck Scholar. Best chance of the night for Herman Brown. He's already had a winner. Sanda Gear, winner of the Fire Break Stakes last time. Frankie Dettori rides 12. Ibn Matuta, expect a much better show from him on this occasion. And 13, Do It All, manages to scrape in because of the non-runner being rocked up. And Sylvester de Souza is in the plate from store 13. Sanda Gear goes in. Gingerbread Man about to come up. He's broken out, Gingerbread Man. So they're just about ready. The signal is given and they're all set. Racing in the Zabil Mile. Fanyan Alta went back shortly after the break. Do it all and Der Bass with Dark Matter began quickly. Jasus well away but taking a sit in the early part. Sander Gers out wide and ridden with restraint. Duck Scholar on the inside of him and then came Ibn Batuta. Gingerbread Man followed by Always Certain. Viscount Nelson, La Rab and Fanyan Alta's a length and a half away at the tail of the field. Do it all crossed and went to the front with 400 left behind in 27.1 not a lot of petrol being used in the early part and with 1,000 left to travel, do it all by a length and a half over Der Bass a length and a half to Dark Matter and three quarters to Sander Gurr now closer to the rail, three quarters to Jar Seuss and the same margin away Duck Scholar, followed by Always Certain on the fence and then Evan Batuta travelling deep on the outside of Gingerbread Man, a length away is La Rabe with the black cap Viscount Nelson the favourite is second last and Fanyan Alta whipped the field in as they went past the 600 metres mark and came onto the long bend for home. Do it all. Pilots them into the straight in the Sabeel Mile. Durbas is second. Sandiger went up on the outside. Then Dark Matter. Jasus being ridden along. Followed by Duck Scholar and then came Ibn Batuta. Durbas is after do it all with 250 to run. Sandiger under the whip. Dark Matter in the middle. Duck Scholar on the outside. But do it all has kicked 100 to go, do it all's a length in front, Duck Scholar and Durbas are trying hard, do it all in front and has done just that he's led from go to woe in the Zabil Mile, do it all has won from a photo between Durbas and Duck Scholar, then Skander Gur, Dark Matter and Jar Seuss, Viscount Nelson Ibn Batuta, always certain Fanyan Alter, Gingerbrand Man and La Rabe do it all. The reserve gaining a start when Rock Jock was a defection has won the Zabil Mile and won it by leading all of the way for Sylvester de Souza. And that's three for Godolphin tonight. Another one for the Saeed bin Saror branch. As we wait for the numbers to go up, but do it all. We bounce from gate number nine, has crossed the field in a slow first quarter of 27 and 1. He's been able to set it up to suit himself, and they have not been able to run him down when they got to the business end of the, the race. Viscount Nelson got back, we were expecting that, but the uh, slow sectionals in front certainly played against him. Do it all, number 13. Sylvester D'Souza first, number six, Der Bass, written by Richard Hills is second. Number 10, Duck Scholar, Ryan Moore is third, 13, 6 and 10. Sandiger fourth, Jasu's fifth, Dark Matter ran sixth. 13, 6, 10, 11, 1 and 2 in 138.98. 138.98 is 2 and 4 tenths outside of the record, the 1600 metres turf record held by the Mayor, Aspect of Love, 138.98. So do it all, who at his most recent start was 11th, beaten 13 lengths in a field of 13 behind Viscount Nelson in the El Fahidi Fort. Before that, he had run 14th, distanced, in a field of 15 behind Blue Panis. So that's a turnaround. I think it's fair to say, on paper, it's a real turnaround. And he 
has started, well, he was the equal rag with La Rabe and Ibn Battuta. Do it all. Somewhat of a shock. A length and three quarters, a head, a half length. A length and three quarters, a head, a half length, and 138.98 is the time. Do it all. He's turned his form around. He's won the Sabeel Mile of 2012 by distorted humour from stupendous miss. A five years old, a dark bay and tyre. His fourth win from 12 starts. A 33% strike rate, which is not to be sneezed at. He's raced, of course, by Godolphin and written by Sylvester D'Souza, prepared by Saeed bin Sarul. Durbas, by seeking the gold, trained by Lirashid al-Rahi, written by Richard Hills, and Duck Scholar, by Oasis Dream, trained by Herman Brown, and written by Ryan Moore. Sander Gurr was fourth. He looked to have his chance, but a full look at the sectional times will be very interesting in analysing that race. One and three quarter lengths ahead, a half away was the fourth horse, Sander Gurr, and the equal outsider has won the Zabil Mile, sponsored by the Commercial Bank of Dubai, the 2012 edition. Well, there we are. The reserve manages to win the feature race of the evening tonight, the Group 2 Zabil Mile. And uh, Sylvester D'Souza, who uh, I'm sure will be riding plenty more winners uh, in those silks, of course, after his uh, recent appointments as a uh, jockey to ride alongside Frankie Dettori for the Godolphin operation. Good run from this horse and uh, nice run from Duras as well. <laughs> Sadly misses out once again but still lost nothing in defeat and a good training performance from Saeed Bin Saror who now goes a point clear of Mahmoud Al Zaruni in that uh, trainer's title here. Simon Crisford and Brian Powell, integral part of the team for Godolphin, notably our cause. And they'll be really, really pleased with that run. Duck Scholars travelled really well as we'll see it when they, when they do the replay on Duck Scholar was given a good mention by Herman Brown a little bit earlier on today and he's uh, come out of this with, with great credit but Thursing certainly wasn't unlucky for him Laura well a bit of a surprise wasn't it like Riley's keeping fade last year bit of a surprise just outlines again the strength in the uh, good ranks that a white camp doesn't really mean second I actually thought in the parade what a beautiful looking horse do it all is he, he just looked really professional really fit walking round and he had a couple of handers with him and, and, and he just he just looks very classy um, nevertheless didn't think he'd be good enough to win it